You know, Crowder, who we made a bunch of, uh, we he shit on us. Again? Well, he's, no, but I, he, oh. there's an update because Crowder got banned from YouTube. Yeah. And now he's made this whole big hum-ha about he's coming back. So how is he coming back? Well, I think he was just demonetized. He was never banned, right? Yeah, he wasn't oh, banned. Okay. He got two strikes. Right. Which meant he was one away from a ban. Yeah. So, he, so he just so decided. He was never it, gone. Well, he stopped posting on YouTube because... He was scared. He was scared that he was going to get a third strike and get banned. Okay. And then that's when he announced that he was suing YouTube, which is, it, which as far happening. as we know, it just is it's a total not made up there's, thing. There's no lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. Here, what, because the whole bunch of his I'm back video is about how, like, I'm suing and everybody's backing <laughs> me up. It's like, no, you're not suing anyone, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Here, watch this. They're breaking the law. It's like they are. They're coming for all of us. Stand with one another because they're going to pick us off one by a one. A collection of all the worst people Stand you know. With one another. Stephen can't be abandoned. Stephen can't fight this by himself. Rules should not appear. Did if Glenn Beck ever. Bro, if you ever have the quartering in a collage speaking on your behalf, just erase your oh, life. Oh, that's the quartering? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, enforced. I was like, why, who is this guy? Why does he look familiar? He's beat. I just oh. beat in my basement. Yeah, he, lo he loves. Uh, I just sent the video. You made it to the oh intro? Yes. That's what? how low this <laughs> shit is. You couldn't find anyone better to support him. <laughs> Fucking wow. the quartering. All right, you two. You down the thunder. Well, now you got it. How long before he's permanently I'm banned? <laughs> I say one week. Clowns. But I gotta say, I to, uh, to my Steven base, and crew. Officially suing YouTube. Nope. He's not officially. He's literally not officially suing YouTube. He's literally... Because so far there's no record There's no lawsuit. He sent an intent... Apparently, it was described to me from Emily as he sends a like demand letter saying, "Do meet my demands, or I'll send a lawsuit." He has not fought, sued. Unless it happened Ooh, uh, in the just, last like forty-eight hours. Uh, no. When I I've never been. I've no one's ever been like, "Hey, I'm gonna sue." I was like, yeah, "You're being sued, asshole." Stephen and crew. Obviously, we all care. So they're suing. No, they're not. They are literally not suing. <laughs> I love how he's parading this around. It's like, dude, you are not suing anyone. I just peed in my basement. He has not sued YouTube. This is the big one. Nope, no lawsuit. Again, bro, you're such a pussy. I dare you to sue YouTube. You'll get drained or dry. You kill him, Crowder, coming and hell coming with me, you hear? Hell coming with me! Anyway, so here's what you can expect. A few days ago... That's why I think he'll be banned in, like, basically the first week back. Here is his recent... He's on... What's what's it called? Rumbler or something? Some bullshit that nobody pays So this is his Gay Pride right. Month coverage. And I'm like, oh, yeah. He's he's not going to make it one week into this shit. Here. Listen to this nuclear take. Honestly, right, let's look at all major historical gay... Fi you look at milk? Yeah. You look at... I mean... The one you drink people, or the, the one... No, you look yeah. at yeah. milk. Hardy? You look at people... You, 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 you look at Dallas. These Just are people me. with AIDS. Yeah. These are people. Look, I think that if we want people to be happy, you say, well, that shouldn't be. Any so he says every major gay historical figure is just someone with AIDS. Mm -hmm. Which the one example that he gives, Harvey Milk, didn't have AIDS. He was assassinated before AIDS even existed. <laughs> so he's just wrong. <laughs> he I mean, that's, obvi that's an obviously on of, its first, it's on awesome. its surface, a wrong statement. But the one example that he gave it's is... Just he yeah, didn't, he didn't have AIDS. I love that. It's like, there's just what? And then he goes on to team to say, oh, and people with AIDS are degenerates. I, it's like, the guy's just such a fucking hateful bigot, bro. So look, honestly, you're right. You're honestly, right, let's look at all major historical gay figures. Let's you look, look at it. milk. Yeah, you look at. I mean, the one you drink people, or the, the one? No, you look at yeah. milk. Hardy? You look at people. You, 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 I can't get over how unfunny a sidekick mm -hmm. is. By the way, like he just talks over him because he knows the guy's just like derailing the show. You look at Dallas. These this are people made. with AIDS. Yeah. These are people. Yeah. Look, I think yeah. milk did not have AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's such a fucking idiot. I think that if we want people to be happy, you say, well, that shouldn't be an example. Yeah. Pick yeah. the domesticated Dave Rubin and make him your ambassador. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? And then so he goes, oh, well, people with AIDS shouldn't be role models. Like, 
I'm not. I, since when did having AIDS yeah, become a moral, <laughs> make you moral, morally? I mean, this inferior. is some like mid '80s. Yeah, shit. The, it's like yeah, we're like we're Reagan's like multiple AIDS decades yeah. beyond this you, mentality. The dude is somehow like. <clears throat> it's so it's like hard to believe somebody yeah, would say yeah, that. Yeah, it really is. I'm just like kind of speechless. Who would want to have a role model if they had AIDS? What I love too is uh, he, he's got that big Spartan thing on his desk, which like the. I just like you know, like look so at the. It. Here it is. Spartan. Spartan armor. Yeah. Oh, they fucked guys. Yeah, the Spartans are like famously they, like, they fucked kids. They fucked kids. <laughs> they fucked everything. <laughs> They had male lovers, very big part of their culture. Interesting observation. <laughs> I never sucked any ding dongs. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we love that about you. Uh, we love that about you, Alex. Sucking a ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think Crowden wishes he was a Spartan, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Easy. I'm just, I'm just saying, you're not pointing to great examples yeah. because it's not about because they what usually disease. what we used to want to do with children was. It yeah, you can have AIDS and be a great person. It doesn't make you morally wrong to have AIDS. This is so bizarre. <laughs> it's just it's so bizarre. He's, he's trying. I saw somebody. I didn't make this point, but I saw it, and I, it, it's totally true. He he wants to be Rush Limbaugh. He wants to be just that asshole that you know. <laughs> just appeals to the lowest common denominator. Rush Limbaugh famously had a segment regularly on his show where he would read off a list of names of people who had died of AIDS and make fun of them. Wow, that is fucking horrific. Yeah, Although, Rush Limbaugh can you do that is now? I mean, all-time piece of By the way, Medal of Honor recipient, Rush yeah, Limbaugh. Yeah, from Trump. Super cool. One of the rest shittiest piss, dudes bitch. who's ever lived. Um, he couldn't do that now, though, right? That was, that Here's the new like, version of Rush Limbaugh doing it right now in front of our eyes. I mean, I guess I don't know. Does people buy this shit? I mean, he does have a lot of viewers. Yep. He's I never so, sucked any ding dongs. He's so <laughs> interesting, the Stephen Crowder. Encourage them, right? Guide them toward the kind of behavior that would create the most content, fulfilled, and productive yeah. member of society. Now it's about making sure that they have the greatest awareness of the most marginalized victims. That's why they're not picking the Buzz Aldrin of the gay community. I'm just saying. Can you just pick a gay person? Buzz Aldrin is straight, isn't he? Buzz Aldrin's straight. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to say. Give us an example. He's trying to say all of the heroes are are of of. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have any examples because it's just not true. It's yeah, everything not, he's the one example that he gave is incorrect. So. So during Pride Month, Stephen Crowder has basically taken it to himself to spread spread. Some horrible, like, just, like, flat-out wrong, psychotic, antiquated homophobia. Super cool. While having a Spartan, you know, on his desk. One of some of the most, uh, the people who enjoyed gay sex more than anyone, and maybe in history. Sucking a ding-dong. <laughs> oh, shout-out to the Spartans. Could I just say, in the chat, I'm seeing a lot of people say Alan uh, Turing. Is that how you pronounce it, Dan? That's the example yeah. me and Dan were thinking I mean, of. Like, that was the first so thing that together. came to mind, is, like, the... Guy who broke the Enigma code and helped the Allies win World War II, right. probably more than almost any other individual, and then also it created the the uh, invention of the, or I guess not invention, the Turing machine. Essentially, he he created the concept that is the foundation for all computers. All computers, right. like the entire world that we live in is he is probably the most responsible if you were to point to and by the person. way and he was, didn't have aids right. and didn't have aids and was driven by society's homophobia to suicide was it yeah he yeah. was the british government uh chemically castrated him and uh and he ended up committing suicide so, so. we love we wow such a degenerate like St right steven yeah dude i'm so tired of homophobia it's like just It's just so fucking pathetic. It really is pathetic. It's like, just move on. Just move on and with your life. Steven's the kind of guy who's like, oh, there's no such thing as systemic racism, who is like openly homophobic. It's like, bro, you, ha you are such a victim. Such a victim, dude. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Not I don't even know who he is. Maybe it's Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> Although he's, <laughs> it's certainly not the first guy to take a rocket to the moon. 
<laughs> Dude, can you just say one for What is that thing? joke? What is does he, that even mean? I don't know. I think he's a drunk. I, just, I really do. <laughs> well, what's in I that mug, stop. buddy? Are we? Uh, I should stop. Stop. Yeah, no. We're off YouTube now. Stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah we're, we're totally clear here. All right. No. Oh, I'm bad. Yes, he, he, is, he is a horrible person. It's not funny! Yeah. This top comment. Harvey Milk was not HIV positive. He was assassinated before the HIV, HIV epidemic. This is just homophobia. <laughs> Dude, it's like... And this is the guy who says, debate me. He doesn't, literally doesn't know shit. <laughs> right. So that's my little uh, take on the return of Steve Crowder. I give him one week max. Well, I think the whole point of him taking this break is the strikes like expire after 90 days or something so he's waited for the two strikes has he been gone for that long i think so well and he's not back yet he's announcing his return i don't think I the think strikes matter i think youtube's got their eyes on him like just waiting for him to fuck up because i mean you'd think but i mean he went through a whole giant round of this controversy for similar things what it was like two years ago or something and <laughs> YouTube came down on his side. They they allowed him to remain, and he's been here. That was in 2019. So, but I don't know. Maybe, well, you things, see what, maybe things have changed. At what great lengths people have to go to to actually get banned on YouTube? So, but I think I think he's I think he's on his path. I think he's going to achieve <laughs> what only one other person I know of has done before. So, sucking a ding dong. Hmm.